everyone, this is David and welcome to week one. I want to take just a few minutes to go over the materials for your week one and place a special emphasis on the two assignments that you have to turn in by the end of this week one. So as usual, I start out on the home page after logging in, take a look briefly if there are any new announcements, and then my first move is to click on content. It brings up the content menu and I make sure that I click on the top link for each week. Here we have week one, here's the top link, and then here are the sublinks underneath it. So clicking on the top link, it brings us to the following materials. Week one, your values and goals is your introduction to the unit. Then what to expect this week that has to do with some of the other goings on, you notice that there's this short video on navigating the classroom, and that's good if you haven't been in a Leo classroom before. I highly recommend it. And then we mentioned instructor connections. This is not something that's going to happen until weeks three, I believe. It begins, and then we begin with the actual week assignments here. With the first, the objectives. And then we get into the learning resources. Each week is divided into learning resources. These are the things that you read and watch that help prepare you for completing the assignments for that week. After the week one learning resources are the two week one assignments. Those assignments are your discussion board and then your turn in assignment here, the, uh, the thing that you will need to be submitting in the assignment area. Expand these back out. So let's take a look at the learning resources first, which I recommend. Go through the learning resources, read, watch, study, because these materials really do help you do a good job on each assignment. First, you're going to listen to some inspirational stories. They're very good. The one by the student graduation speaker, I highly recommend. She's really fun and inspirational. Week one, what matters to you? Here you'll see some videos and readings on this whole idea of finding out the core motivations, your core interests, your core skills that uh, kind of help propel you throughout the uh, course. Next we have identifying goals. This is an important section because your primary task in uh, your unit one week one assignments are to identify your goals, motivations, and values. And this is a central reading for you. Keep in mind that the goals that you'll be putting forward need to be SMART goals. SMART goals, each letter, it's an acronym, each letter stands for a different uh, component, needed component in uh, Tools, it's, they stand for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So whenever you submit your goals in this week, be sure to submit them using the SMART rubric. They should be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. After watching the materials on identifying your goals, you're ready for the discussion. This week's discussion, you post your introduction and your story. This story is important in that you're going to be talking about uh, the things, the motivations, the drives that brought you here to this school and to your major in particular. So this discussion serves as a kind of warm up for your next assignment and this is what you need to turn in by the end of this week. And this assignment is the following. <clears throat> What are your motivations? Here is the description of the assignment. And basically, all of that description adds up to your filling out this assignment template. And I want to take a look at this assignment template right here. Click on it and it will download for you as a Word document. So let's open this thing up and see what we got here. I want to go over some elements of this Word document with you. Your name, of course. Your pay section is uh, 6890, or you can also just put in technical section as opposed to health 
arts and sciences, and that, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so 6980 is our section number. Let me check on that just to make sure. Yeah, 6985. Sorry about that. 6985. And then you just go through the four parts of the assignment. First, you want to write your goals. And you want to have three to five goals. And you want these goals to follow the SMART format. So uh, here is an example goal. And you'll see that it is relevant, time-bound, specific, and measurable. Part two is once you've established those goals, you want to talk about your motivations. This is the answer to the question, why? Why do you wish to achieve this goal? You want to, in this case, get a promotion at work, higher salary, the sense of accomplishment. After motivations comes your values. In other words, what, do those, what kind of values do those motivations based upon? For example, if your goal is to finish your degree and get a higher salary, then what value are you displaying there? You're displaying a value of your belief in education to lead to better circumstances in your life. You're showing the value of reaching your potential through education. The value is that I have a one of my goals, one of my values as a human being is to be all I can be, more or less. And your way of doing that is through education. So those are values. And then come the action steps. What are you going to do to achieve that goal? And then there's a final section of what you've learned about goals, motivations, and values. And those are the three things that you're focusing on. Goal, where you're going. Motivation, why you're going there and values what these motivations say about me as a person i believe in your values are an answer to that statement i believe in accomplishment self-actualization uh, supporting my family whatever your whatever your values are okay so that is it on the assignment let's take a breadcrumb back to where we began I just want to close by saying that if you have any questions during the week, any at all, no matter how small you think or irrelevant you think they are, please ask them right away. You can ask them either in the discussion area. There's a uh, teacher's lounge there. Ask the professor lounge. You can ask them on the discussion board, but also you're more than welcome to email them to me, and I encourage you to do that. That will be your quickest way of getting your questions answered. If I check on the um, syllabus here, here's my email address, and that is a great way to get them answered. Okay, I'll let everyone go now. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to all your assignments.